Hi dancers and welcome back. I hope you are all still happy, healthy, and having fun dancing at home. I hope you've been able to find a space to call your own to be able to move around in without kicking anything over or going outside and kind of enjoying the open air when the weather permits. Um, this week again I'll give you just some exercises to be doing at home to keep your body uh, healthy and strong and mobile. I also would like to encourage you this week to research a piece called Cacti by Alexander Ekman. Um, I had the fortune of watching this uh, piece done by Pacific Northwest Ballet a couple of years ago. And it's one of those pieces that really stuck out to me and will ever forever be in my brain because it was so unique and impactful and creative. Um, that I, I could watch it a hundred times over and never be bored with it. I'm not sure there's the full length of it on line. However, there are little segments um, and interviews here and there, even with the choreographer, Alexander Ekman. Um, it's really, really fascinating, fascinating stuff. And if you have the opportunity just to kind of sit down and explore it on YouTube a little bit, I highly recommend it. Um, you'll get to see the usage of a lot of different props and even dialogue and humor and just really exploring what dance can be and seeing that it doesn't have to be defined as one, one direction or one idea. There are so many ways to express yourself through dance and that's why I love cacti so much because there's so much going on that I would have never thought to be that creative and still within a dance kind of vocabulary. So have fun checking that out and I hope you're all doing great and I can't wait to see you again soon. Starting with a nice warm up from a wide second position, so slightly outside of our hip bones. We'll take up five to six, you can be facing the bar seven and eight. We take four count grand plie, one, two, three, four, again. Grand plie and six, seven, and eight. We're gonna plie toward the left, reaching out one, two, plie rolling through, just curving the upper back, three, lifting four, a balance five, and a six, rolling through, seven, recover, eight. Start the grand plies again. One, and two, nice neutral pelvis, but I'm making sure we're feeling it nice and supported, letting it support our turnout. And six, seven, and eight, plie toward the right, two, three, roll through, four, rise up, five, six, lower, seven, start through that plie, eight. And then we're gonna take our right foot, taking a nice pivot into the hips. We're gonna go tendu one, Hold on to this wall here, pivot in two, turn out three, lower four, again five, letting the hip roll first, so pulling that hip toward your big toe, your second metatarsal rather, let the hip swivel in and out, then to the right with the left foot, one, letting the hip go first, pulling it across two, turn out three, and four, again five, six, seven, and eight. Last thing you're gonna do, you're gonna take quarter rises. You're gonna go quarter lift and down, then to demi and lower, then to your highest relative you can. So really thinking about where that ankle bone is going. Make sure we're not trying to shove that heel into the back of our Achilles. So really finding the underneath of your arch being developed, holding six, Roll through seven, up eight, and a lower down. So that was quarter, demi, three quarter, six, and a lower eight. And then you repeat that one more time. Quarter and lower, keeping the heels reaching forward. Demi and lower, trying to get to that highest releve. Six plie releve, seven, instead of coming back down that last time. I'm just gonna let go of the bar, 
and just find your nice stability, finding your under buns. Yes, find that external rotation, holding tightly high up at the top of your hip bones, translating it all the way through your ankle bones towards your second metatarsals. <sighs> Starts to burn a little bit. Take your generous plie to come down, and here we go with music. I'll be facing my bar as we get started. So nice wide second again, just uh, heels right underneath your hip bones, drawing a straight line down, finding that nice neutral pelvis, making sure everything's just kind of stacked right on top of one another so it's working to its best efficacy. Here we go. directions, taking your arms wherever you feel like you might need them, and finish. We're going to go ahead and do a combination that's going to help with our foot articulation coming in and out of fifth position and through bounces and extensions as well. So we're going to start with that right foot to want, five and a six. Seven, eight. We're going to go through sur le coup de pied. Now, initiating the movement, so not letting the thigh kind of start to activate, but we want to find the foot moving first and then letting it pull our thigh back. So, sur le coup de pied, one, and tendu. Pulling that toe back. Sur le coup de pied, three to 45 degrees on the layer. Third time, pulling that toe back up to a plie and développe, relevé, close and susu, pas de bourre, stretch through fifth. Then we start, pinky toe coming back, coup de pied one, and tendu, coup de pied 245, back in, through plie, relevé, Pas de vous right. Now you're going to stay up in your susu for this next section that comes through a la seconde. Here you go. You're going to plie, sorry, you're going to go through sur le coup de pied. One, plie tendu, a la seconde, two. Then you're going to go plie relevé. So again, starting from two legs, brushing through sur le coup de pied and stay. Coming back through fifth, relevé 90 to retire. Letting go of the bar, change back. Stay in fifth as you pot a cheval from the coup de pied derriere. One, and a close. This is enveloppe to coup de pied derriere. 
Envelopez to retire derriere. Arms go one, two, passe. Just one set, really taking the time to find all of this wrapping happening, yeah? When we've, whenever we've used our um, super long TheraBands to help our proprioception, it's to find that wrapping of our muscles onto your, all the way from the top of our legs to the tip of our toes. Here we go with some music. I'm gonna go ahead and do this uh, combination with my handy dandy photo shelf, um, just so you can really see how much I'm initiating with my pinky toe in each of these coup de pied or similar coup de pied moments. Yeah, so you really find that initiation and you see how flat we're trying to get. Yeah, if you look at me from the side, it looks like I have one leg. That's our goal. Here we are with music. successful with your balance than I did. Here we are on the left. exercise that you can do and the safety of your home and your mom won't freak out that you're gonna knock a vase over or anything or fall on your bum. Um, this starts in fifth position. You're gonna rise up to a soutenu seven and eight. You're gonna hit retiré devant on one, plié devant, flex the foot, two, carry side, three, back to the front, four, Carry side five, back to the front six, stretch through tendu seven and eight. You're going up onto retire on one, flex out two. So again, we're finding that heel pressing forward, watching that supporting uh, thigh, open three and four, five and six, pressing through seven, eight. Third time, back up one, the pointed foot two, out three, and four, five, and six, 
tendu seven and eight. Right from there, you're gonna plie and bama, au second one, petit bâton two, out three and a four, press out five and a six, take your knees seven to the other side, eight, and then you're ready to go back up on one. Yeah, I'll be doing that again um, with you on my special little bar here. Something that we're thinking about when we go into our fondue, whether it's with the flex foot or the pointed foot, make sure that you're not letting your rectangle curve at the base of your spine. You wanna think opposite. You wanna keep that spine elongating even further. So by the time you're getting up into your releve and retiri, your rectangle, your stack, your alignment is exactly where it needs to be. And you don't have to do any extra shifting when you're going from a flat plie to releve on demi point or on point. Here we are with some music. I won't really be able to cheat much when I'm facing to the side, so keep me accountable for how my alignment is throughout this whole entire thing, and yours as well. Here we are. Rising up. two times we're in fondue it's with a flexed heel and the arm should be staying um it should be moving with your leg yeah up one out open moving in one piece and close i don't think i did that on both sides but just something to um pay a little bit of attention to that that arm is moving in and out with your leg throughout the whole entire combination keeping our stability on our supporting leg when our working leg is in an extended position. We've done this combination a few times and I'm gonna go ahead and suggest that you do this on a somewhat unstable surface. So maybe like a pillow or a folded up blanket or a towel or something. Just something to give yourself a little bit more of a challenge on that supporting leg. So this one goes, we're gonna start with that left foot to bond. Boop, five and six, seven, eight. Going through Sir Le Pied de Pied. One, up two, plie devant three, grab the leg, four, stretch three, also come five, and a six, stay seven, and eight. Try to see if you can shift your pelvis to get a little bit higher. One, two, bottom of the foot looking forward, three, four, try to pin it to win it, let it go, five and a six, time to do seven, close eight, and then we go ahead and do that on the other side. So again, you're going up through your sur le coup de pied. You plie devant, grab a hold. If you're less flexibly inclined, you can grab around your calf or even your hamstring. Um, but whatever you're doing, you're trying to make sure that you're not compromising your alignment in your torso just to get your leg up higher. Um, that's a little bit different when we're shifting our pelvis to support the weight of your leg. But we don't want to make sure we don't want to let our torso be moving in order to get closer to our leg. Yeah, you wanna think about being a little bit more opposite in that action, feeling your body slightly further away, but letting the pelvis tilt so it can support the weight of your femur when it's in that super above 90 degree extension. I will do my best to do this with you with music on both sides, starting with the left foot devant. Left foot devant.
extra little um, element of instability really makes it for a challenging experience. But I highly recommend trying it at least once or twice to do it with a little bit more um, unstable of a surface just to give your proprioception and all those little micro muscles an opportunity to feel where they need to be and where they need to go to keep you nice and balanced.